Hi, this is Kathleen from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala Om. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use sample templates in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use sample templates in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we want to open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start, go to All Programs, and go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. We just click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open Microsoft Access 2010. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. The entire view is called as Backstage View. By default, the new option and blank database will be selected. Our task is we want to use the sample template. In order to use the sample template, you just click on the sample template. When you click on the sample template, it will display a list of available templates. We can choose any of this template in order to use it. I prefer to use Northwind. So in order to use Northwind, you just double click the Northwind to use it. Whenever you click Northwind, a message will be generated stating that preparing template. It's a dialog box and please write Microsoft Access prepares template for use. As well as at the same time you can able to see the security warning. Some active content has been disabled. Click for more details. You just click enable content. When you click on enable content, a login dialog box will appear where you want to select the employee. When you click on this drop down, where you can able to see a plenty of users. I prefer so where you can able to see the roles. So I prefer to use Vice Presidents as the first option and click login in order to log into North Antiques. So now we enter Northwind database where I am the username where you, you have a navigation pan, so you have customer and order details, and inventory and purchasing, and suppliers, shippers, reports, and employees, and supporting objects. So there are various categories. For example, if you wish to use customer and order, and able to click on customer list so form you so that can can able to see all the details and order list just double click it in order to use it and suppliers supplier details so that you can able to see the supplier details so product purchase so this is how you can able to use the available templates So, if you wish, you can able to change the tables also, for example, customer and orders, where you can able to see customer details, you just select it and go to home view and design view, where you can able to redesign it as well as if you want to add the existing fields either you can add it if you can add the existing or new fields into it so now i'm quite comfortable with this i'm not going to add any new fill list so now i'm going to close this database how to close this database just go to file and close the database and again i'm going to use sample template and this time i'm going to use faculty so again the same you want to enable the content and go to navigation pan where you can able to see faculty list 
and faculty details so employment information and emergency information the same thing if you wish to change it select and go to view and go to design view where you can able to change it as well as if you wish to add an existing field you just click on the field so this there are plenty of fields in which you can able to use it so this is how you want to use the existing template i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video